Since Porsche unveiled its inaugural electric vehicle several years back, any suggestion to invest in a Taycan came with a notable caveat. Sure, it delivers exceptional performance. Yes, it charges swiftly. It undeniably embodies the Porsche ethos within the realm of EVs, but its driving range was always a sticking point. Certainly, luxury EV consumers had alternatives such as the Tesla Model S, the Mercedes EQS sedan, or the Lucid Air, all capable of traversing an additional 100 miles or more on a single full charge, and in some instances, offered at a lower cost. Opting for the Porsche Taycan often meant compromising range in favor of superior driving dynamics. However, following a six-hour journey and an impressively brief charging session in a prototype of the revamped 2025 Taycan, it's evident that Porsche has risen to the challenge. Range Trial Porsche entrusted us with the keys to a 2025 Taycan 4 Cross Turismo equipped with 21-inch wheels and dispatched us on a journey from Marina del Rey, California, to Tijuana, Mexico, with a stopover in San Diego for lunch, before circling back towards Los Angeles to a charging station near our starting point. The shortest route totaled approximately 290 miles, indicating Porsche's significant adjustments for the new model. Last year's Taycan would have struggled with this expedition under the best of circumstances. The 2024 equivalent of our test vehicle received an EPA rating of just 235 miles, and even the most long-lasting model could only manage 246 miles before depletion. After replenishing at the hotel and achieving a full charge and range mode, the dashboard displayed an estimate of 322 miles. The journey mainly unfolded on flat terrain, with temperatures hovering in the high 60s and the climate control set to 72 degrees on auto, providing an ideal setting for the Taycan to showcase its enhanced range capabilities. We engaged cruise control at 70 miles per hour, mirroring our in-house real-world range test protocol. We commenced our journey in range mode for the initial leg of the day, a mode primarily characterized by eco settings for climate control and the Taycan's air suspension lowered to its lowest position. Porsche explains that the decision not to keep the car consistently hunkered down for optimal aerodynamics is to maintain adequate suspension travel and ensure a slightly superior ride comfort, though we found no discernible difference in practice. Notably, the Taycan's range estimate fluctuates depending on the selected drive mode, with switching to normal and activating the cooled, massaging seats resulting in a roughly 2% decrease in the estimate. As we headed back north towards the charging station, the Taycan's updated navigation system identified our destination as a charging point and proactively preconditioned the battery for swift charging right from the outset. Arriving at the charger with 6% battery remaining after covering 298.3 miles, we achieved an average consumption of 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Engaging in a bit of rough calculation, we estimated the 2025 Porsche Taycan 4 Cross Turismo's highway range at 317 miles. It's essential to note that this is an anecdotal, optimal scenario, experienced in favorable weather conditions and averaging just 55 miles per hour with traffic. We intend to conduct a controlled range test at the earliest opportunity. Nevertheless, this represents a significant improvement over the outgoing model's EPA estimate adding more than a third to the range. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that this particular model is among the less efficient variants in the Taycan lineup. Another journalist driving a RWD Taycan sedan reported achieving over 360 miles, while someone else posted 345 miles in a Taycan Turbo, the fastest charging EV available. While range remains a crucial factor, it's worth considering that vehicles like the Tesla Model S, with a range of up to 405 miles, and the Lucid Air, with a range of up to 516 miles, still offer greater coverage between charges compared to the Taycan. However, it's rare for drivers to cover 300 miles on a single stretch during a road trip without stopping. When the time comes for a snack and a stretch, the Porsche will efficiently get you back on the road in no time. Arriving at a 350 kilowatts Electrify America fast charging station, we were eager to put the 2025 Porsche Taycan to the test. When the original Taycan debuted in 2020, it made waves as the first EV with 800 volt electrical architecture, enabling an industry-leading charging speed of up to 270 kilowatts. In the realm of EVs, KW denotes the charge rate, measuring how many kilowatt-hour, the battery unit's capacity, the battery can gain per hour when connected. 
Upon pulling up to the charger with a preconditioned battery, the digital gauge cluster displayed an anticipated starting charge rate of 290 kilowatts. Plugging in, we immediately observed 293 kilowatts on the charging station display, a figure that swiftly climbed to as high as 309 kilowatts within the initial three minutes of charging. During the first five minutes of the session, we charged from 6% to 30% state of charge (SOC), adding approximately 75 miles of range. The charge rate maintained above 310 kilowatts, reaching a peak of 323 kilowatts, with one journalist reportedly witnessing 333 kilowatts, until the battery reached 62% SOC, after which it gradually decreased to around 220 kilowatts. As is typical with all electric vehicles, charge speed diminishes significantly when the battery approaches around 80% capacity. Remarkably, the charging station operated near silently, unlike the loud roar often encountered at some fast chargers. Charging from 6% to 80%, we added 83.0 kilowatt hours of energy in just 18 minutes. To provide context, the fastest charge rate we've observed from a Tesla Model S Plaid is 250 kilowatts, while the Lucid Air is capable of 300 kilowatts. Until now, no vehicle had surpassed that threshold. However, the high charge rate alone doesn't tell the full story, as the miles of range added per minute depend on both energy transfer KW and efficiency me slash kilowatt hour. Based on our trip odometer's average efficiency of 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour at 320 kilowatts, the Taycan can add 17 miles of real-world range per minute. The EPA reports up to 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour in a lucid air touring indicating that even charging at a slower 300 kilowatts, it could potentially gain 23 miles of range per minute. It's worth noting, though, that we only achieved 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour in our long-term Lucid Air Grand Touring performance, which is EPA rated at 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. How Porsche achieved it. Porsche has yet to divulge technical specifics regarding the 2025 Taycan. But our first-hand experience driving and charging the automaker's latest electric sports sedan offers some clues regarding its advancements. Analyzing the charging data, while allowing for potential losses between the power dispensed by the charger and absorbed by the battery. We can infer that the Taycan boasts a higher capacity battery ranging between 100 and 110 kilowatt hours, a notable increase from the 93.4 kilowatt hours seen in the 2020 to 2024 models. But you may wonder, how does a roughly 10% boost in battery capacity translate to around a 35% increase in range? In addition to outfitting a larger energy reservoir, Porsche has enhanced the Taycan's efficiency. Utilizing revised battery chemistry made feasible by technological advancements that were not available during the original Taycan's development in 2016 likely played a significant role, with the potential for new chemistry also accounting for the improved charging speeds. A new battery configuration could facilitate stronger regenerative braking, further enhancing range. Additionally, it wouldn't be surprising to learn that Porsche has incorporated more efficient front or rear motors. Notably, our test vehicle was equipped with Hankook EV-specific tires, presumably offering reduced rolling resistance compared to last year's tires. When considering the combined improvements in aerodynamics and weight reduction, the substantial increase in range becomes comprehensible. For now, Porsche has chosen to keep us in suspense, but we anticipate having all the intricate details about the 2025 Taycan in the forthcoming weeks.